Kamzat Shumayev beats two people within 10 days. He beats John Phillips at middleweight, cuts weight within 10 days to then fight, well actually less than 10 days because of the weigh-ins, but to fight Reese McKee, who is the welterweight champion at Cage Warriors, which is the UK's um, championship tier, almost like the feeder league into the UFC. Very good champions have come from Cage Warriors. Do not think Reese McKee isn't a good fighter based on that fight. He is elite level. He he is worthy of the UFC. He really is. Kamzat is that much better. Zero strikes landed or even thrown maybe by Reese in that fight. Absolutely insane. And to prove it, Cage Warriors people that have come through McGregor. Joanna and Jacek, Michael Bisping, you name it. Um, you've got so, so many fighters. Darren Darren Stewart, Danny Roberts. Oh, the list goes on. Google it. It's the list is a ridiculous amount. Uh, Duffy, Joe Duffy just retired. There's so many. Um, you got a lot. Kamzat. Is he going to get another feeder fight, though? This is the question everyone's wondering. Because we all want to see him just thrown into the Sharks, almost. But once he's he's only eight, eight fights in, and he's clearly up there. He is clearly in, he is in the upper-tier level of this division. Maybe a couple divisions. Do you want to see him... Do you want to see him fight at welterweight, or do you want to fight middleweight? I obviously want to see him fight at welterweight, and then perhaps move up once he's dominated. If he's going to do this, he's he's in for an absolute murder row if he gets what he wants. He wants someone in the top 10 because he's called out Damien Meyer, who is ranked 7. Now, once you're in the top 10, you don't get out of the top 10 for a while. Like, you're, in, you're always going to receive a killer. Do you give him one more feeder fight just to go, all right, let's see, maybe a top 15. The top 15 at the moment is Anthony Pettis at 15. Neil Magny at 14, Robbie Lawler at 13, Lawler's quite low down now, Diaz at 12, Vicente Luque at 11, and Jeff Neal at 10. Now, Jeff Neal and Neil Magny are already fighting, so he can't go for that one just yet. If he wants to get on UFC 254, it's going to have to be someone that isn't got a, hasn't got a fight. So you've got someone like Pettis, you've got someone like Chiesa, Dos Anjos, Damian Meyer, and then when you get into the higher ones... You've got Thompson, Woodley, Masvidal, Edwards, Covington, Burns, and then Usman. That's the 15. How many of those can he beat? With his wrestling pedigree, you've got Pettis, Magny, Lawler, Diaz, Luque. I think he beats all of those guys. I really do. Neil Magny might be a trickier one, but his defense for takedowns isn't as good as people think it is. His striking and his cardio is where he's at. Diaz obviously doesn't mind getting taken down, but he's going to be wrapped up. Lawler, you can take Lawler down. Pettis, you can take Pettis down. It's the blueprint to beating Pettis, really. Jeff Neal is a different story. I've never seen Jeff Neal really been taken down. He has insane striking, absolutely elite level striking. Um, what he did to Frank Camacho haunted me for a second. I thought he killed him. And then you've got people like Dos Anjos, Kies, and Maya. Now, Maya is a great shout out because Maya is at the end of his rope. Almost like he's he's the fading journeyman now. He's he's not going to be in title contention again. He can't. He's been beaten by all the guys up there. Um, so Maya's a really good shout. He's in the top ten, but he's not. Almost like he's dismissive of rank, rankings. Rankings to Damian Maya are probably really redundant at this point. So I think if you give him Damian Maya, you'll see where his grappling truly is at because Damian Maya's grappling is second to none. Everyone knows he's arguably the best submission artist in the UFC. You know, what he did to Carlos Condit instantly just threw him on the ground, wrapped him up, got the choke. It was like, four, what was it, a couple minutes maybe? I was thinking seconds there, but I think it was a couple minutes. But again, Condit didn't throw a punch. He didn't land a punch. He couldn't. Or do you give him someone like Robbie Lawler? Now, Robbie Lawler's obviously last fight. I believe the rankings are that low because he lost to Askren. Lost. It's hard to it's hard to say that's a loss, but it he lost. He lost to Askren. Don't like Ben Askren though. <laughs> so do you give him someone like that? Who do you guys think he should be fighting? Do you think one more feeder fight of people maybe we're not really known of? Or do you go straight into a top fifteen like a Pettis of Lawler, a Luke, 
or do you dive even further and go top 10? Do you give him a Michael Chiesa, a Damian Meyer, even a Stephen Thompson? Could be interesting. If you, I've never seen people really get Thompson down and hold him down, so that'd be very interesting. Let me guys, <laughs> let me know, guys, what you reckon. Either way, Kamzat Chimaev, you better believe he's going to be fighting five times a year minimum. This guy is just awesome. Everyone loves him. Brother, please, I beat you. Let's do it. Thanks, guys.